And just one last question. Sure. Is the, is the Great Barrier Reef dead? Um, no, <laughs> definitely not. I've been here for a while. I've been diving the Great Barrier Reef every single day. It's a bit of, it's still sick, but we are still hopeful they are going to recover from this setback. So uh, I'm working with Reef Restoration Foundation, so our main objective is actually to uh, restore damaged, damaged section of the reef, especially areas with high uh, tourism value, we like to call it as a high value site, because we feel that these sites are important to actually boost the tourism economy. These are few sites that are actually visited most by tourists. Uh, in order to do that, we set ourselves an objective. We plan to actually reach a million coral outplanted back into the reef by 2026. Yep. And how we want to do that? We, we actually achieving our goal by actually uh, fragmenting corals, right? having coral nursery through our ocean-based coral nursery. So we fragment corals, hang them nursery, and outplant them through uh, all this. Well, cycle. Our aim and how we're trying to achieve that goal is to actually uh, partner and incorporate everyone involved, people from volunteers to tourism operators to research organizations. So we plan to get everyone involved to actually help us achieve our goals. So that is our mission, as you can actually see from uh, our logo down here, we've got a coral reef, we've got all the hands that are actually helping to make the reef better. So that is how we're achieving our goal through many hands through different sectors of the Great Bear Reef. So I'm here with the Reef Restoration Foundation. We just had our briefing, filling out paperwork in the morning, and we're about to get geared up and then ready to head out onto the boat. So it works out really great. They've been only working for about two, three years. So it's a brand new trend company. It all runs with volunteers and the Fitzroy Island Resort has been very generous to kind of help subsidize some of the stuff. The CDC, the Cairns Dive Center also is helping in terms of the equipment uh, and the boat as well. So it's really great. Gonna go out there, gonna be doing some cleaning, then going to be doing some monitoring um, of the actual coral pieces on these trees. So as of now, there are only 10 trees, but each can house up to 80 to 100 corals. Within six months, there's significant growth that happens on these coral trees, coral nurseries. So they're really hoping by the year 2026, they'll be able to plant over 1 million corals. So that is the goal. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get started and check it out. Look how beautiful it is. How can you help? Alright, so what you can actually do, look, log up online, look, look at a uh, 
work we've been doing <laughs> refrestorationfoundation.org all right uh you can look into getting involved with us through uh donation we call it the coral crusader program uh, every donation to us actually helps us to actually uh help the maintenance uh getting equipment so that we can actually uh establish more nurseries out there all right, so we can actually uh, do the normal work we're doing by outplanting the coral, or maybe you're on cans and you wish to get your hands dirty, you can actually volunteer with us through our website as well. Happy to get everyone involved in making the reef a much more better place. Um, no, <laughs> definitely not. I've been here for a while. I've been diving the Great Barrier Reef every single day. It's a bit of, it's still sick, but we are still hopeful they are going to recover from this setback. <laughs>